Hey guys, welcome to CS Tutorials. In this video, we will talk about one of the basic interview questions how to print 1 to 100 without using loops. So let's start. So concept we are going to use here is recursion. When a function calls itself, that is called recursive function and the concept is recursion. So let me quickly create one method here which we gonna use I'll creating it as a static so that we don't need to create object for executing this function or call to call this function so I'll name it as a print number and I'll pass two parameters start number and last number So what I'll do if start number is less than equal to last number I will print it then I'll increment it by 1 and call the same function as I mentioned earlier this is called recursion start number then last number now let's call this function print number in our main method as we, you guys already know main is the entry point for any C sharp executables so I'll call this number print number and pass two parameters start number will be 1 and last number will be 100 so let's execute this and you can see numbers are printed from 1 to 100 and we have not used any loop like for or while loop so let me tell you how this works first when you call print number by passing two parameters 1 and 100 it will control will goes to the line number 15 and while executing it will check is start art number is less than last number then it will print out its number so suppose uh, in first iteration start number is 1 and last number is 100 so 1 is less than 100 so we will print out it as a 1 then 1 will be incremented to 2 and we will call the same function print number again with parameters 2 and 100 then again control goes to 17 2 is also less than 100 so we will print out 2 increment it by 1 and call print number again with 3 and 100 so that's how it will print our print statement will execute again and again until start number is becomes greater than last number so that's how recursion works it is mandatory to put some terminating conditions while using recursive functions otherwise it will end up calling itself endlessly if you find this video helpful please like it and share with your friends if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe thank you